What's up? What's up, everybody? Lawrence Aponte here, and this is Ecom Power Team. So in this episode of Ecom Power Team, this is actually part one of the King Camel case study. King Camel was a branded website that I decided to start, and I want to show you, share um, with you guys the successes that I had with it. And um, let's just kind of jump into it. So part one is going to actually cover um, a few different topics. Um, one of them is going to be the reverse engineering, basically the process and, and um, the thought behind of starting King Camo, um, the inspiration behind it as well. I'll also cover some of the winning products that um, made King Camo a success, and I'll share with you also um, the ad copy and the, the actual ad, and you can see the, the analytics of, of the ad and the reports. Um, we'll also take a, a look at the actual store and I'll show you guys exactly what I went through for like the, the logo design process and then just kind of show you the actual store itself. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and dive right into part one of the King Camel case study. So prior to even launching King Camo, I was doing market research and I came across Titanium Buzz. In fact, Titanium Buzz had this unique um, style of camel rings and I see that they were selling for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And I thought, wow, if I could only find a supplier, maybe I can sell um, some rings with them as well. And lo and behold, I found Chardon and Jewelry. And Chardon and Jewelry had the same style rings, but for just a very fraction of the cost. So when I um, launched in Camo, my main focal point was supposed to be the Camo rings but as you guys will see throughout this case study, that wasn't the case. Um, they weren't my winning products. Yeah, so like I was saying, they weren't my winning products. Um, in fact, before I even launched um, King Camo, I saw this particular item um, on my general store. So um, we launched this on November 1st, 2015. Okay, this is like a Buck and Doe Lover's Pendant Necklace which is towards, you know, like the kind of like the hunting niche, um, the outdoor type um, niche. As you can see, the post reached about 160,000 people. We had about six, uh, 6,300 likes, 2,300 shares. Um, we had about 1,800 link clicks. Okay, so overall it, it did fairly well, right? Not, not, not so bad with the stats. Okay, we sold about 223 units at about $17 a piece. Um, ad spend was around 1200 bucks. Cost of goods sold was around 900 So we profited roughly about $2,000, give or take, um, which is great. Okay, so uh, one month later doing some product research, I came across this here. Okay, so it's very similar to the, to the um, first one that I just showed you. Except this one has more personalization to it, and um, it looks a little like, it just looks a little of more quality. Okay, so the unique selling proposition here was the actual personalization, right? The, the fact that you can put your own letters into each one of the pendants just makes it that much more unique. Okay, so you can see, like I said, one month later, we launched this, um, this post here. We reached over 2 million people. Um, we had 23,000 likes, 17,000 shares, 28,000 link clicks. I mean, the post did really, really well. Um, not very much organic reach, but the pay reach was there. As you can see, the post looks pretty much identical to the first one. I have big red letters that says free shipping. Um, only thing I, I, I started off with a question there saying, what initials do you want on yours? And then I said, tag that special person. And then I had the link. Okay, so as you can see, you know, a lot of people, this was, it was very emotional, especially during December, right, during the holiday season. Um, so it was a very good, um, very good product to choose, nonetheless. So you can see we sold over 1,000 units at close to $40 a piece, okay, um, ad spend, uh, which, which brought in uh, over $41,000 um, in revenue, right, ad spend was about twelve thousand dollars cost of goods sold was roughly eight thousand profiting about twenty thousand dollars right that's i think that's really good um around holiday season a uh, great time good feeling and um 
whatnot. So what we'll go up next is I'll kind of show you guys the process of, of, of just starting King Camo, like how I designed the logo, and then um, we'll actually show you guys the actual store. Here was the process that I took for getting the logo made for King Camo. So I came to freelancer.com and there's a process where you can do where you can actually start a contest. And that's what I did. Um, so when you put a contest up, basically you put up a prize. In this case, I did $25 and you put a description. So here's the description that I used. Really simple um, and to the point. I said I wanted it to be a badass logo that sells camouflage style jewelry. I wanted it to be elegant and retro. If that even makes sense. And then I asked them to use a camouflage pattern. So I also attached a logo stampo. I'll show you guys what that looked like. So that kind of mocked this up. And this is kind of like the idea that I had made. I'm not the best artist, but it doesn't really matter. Just kind of an idea. So once I did this, we started getting entries. And here we had a total of 58 entries. Okay, and that we got all um, 58 of those for 25 bucks. So a bunch of people gave me a bunch of different entries, as you can see. A bunch of different ones. We can just check them out really quick. So I just went through the process, and this was the winner. So that was how I went and got my logo done for um, King Camo. So once we got the logo done, then we just went on and proceeded to building the store. As you guys can see, there's nothing really extravagant about the store. It's actually on a free theme. Um, we just kept everything pretty simple and straight to the point. If we go to the product, we can see nothing crazy. Um, a few reviews at the bottom from customers that received it later on. But this is just a, a pretty simple website. Um, I mean, look, even the text is small here. A lot of imperfections. Um, but nonetheless, it's still sold and it still worked. Um, this site, like I said, is really simple. Um, here's our rings that we offer here. Um, about us section is really fast and easy to the point. And then we had like a little customer review side when people actually um, started re receiving items. They started sending pictures back and kind of built like a little community on that. But other than that, that's making a pretty simple um, website. So here's some of the stats. Um, we started in January, as you can see, and we ran some traffic to around June. Um, did a little over 70K in sales with about 1,700 orders. Um, those were the, the stats there. Okay, and one of the, the biggest um, products that we did, you can see exactly what I found. I found the same identical necklace without personalization okay and i started this right after the new year january 5th literally one month after the other one right so literally for three months in a row we sold the same item okay and you can see the copy you'd be crazy to miss this biggest sell of the year 50 percent off today tag your buck or dough and then we had the link you can see we reached over 2.1 million people we had over 59,000 likes, 21,000 shares, 3,500 comments. We had 18,000 link clicks. I mean, the post was, was really good. It had that really nice effect right before Valentine's Day. Okay, plenty of time for them to reach. We actually did self-fulfillment on this one. And... Um, you can see we sold 667 units at around $30 each, um, spending around $11,000 in ad spend, another $3,300 in uh, cost of goods sold, profiting around $9,000. Um, not so bad for, for selling the same pendant um, for three months in a row. Okay, so you can see we can we sold roughly over two thousand of the same style necklace, profit being over thirty thousand dollars in a in a three month time span, right? So I think that's that's really good. It's it averages about ten thousand dollars a month, which is a to me is is, is super great um, on on one product. Okay, and I mean it, it's it's really good. You can see just kind of. Um, 
selling it in different unique um, ways, we were able to sell it to different audiences yet hitting the same one. Okay, so that concludes this this case study of part one for the King Camo. So um, this is going to be actually a three part series um, where we we kind of dive into the store, and next I'll go into you know showing you guys the ads, the actual target interest that I went and kind of the process of what ads that I, I used. And then um, part three, we'll, we'll actually dive into other products that, that actually did well and how I came across those and the process behind that. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the case study. Um, I appreciate your feedback. If you log into the Ecom Power Team um, back office, you, you can just leave a question, leave your feedback for me. And let me know what you guys liked about it, what you didn't like about it, and what else you'd like to see. Till next time, Lawrence Aponte signing off.